So today, we're going to be solving algebra equations where we're going to have to undo a fraction in them. Now, before we can do this, we have to know what a reciprocal is. All right. So if you have any fraction, let's say 4 fifths, the reciprocal of the fraction is that same fraction flipped upside down. All right. So the reciprocal of 4 fifths is 5 fourths. Similarly, if, we, if I have the fraction negative 2 thirds, the reciprocal of that is negative 3 over 2. So it's the same fraction flipped upside down. And notice, it doesn't change the positive or negative. All it does is flip it upside down. Now why this is important is because when you take any fraction and multiply it times its reciprocal, you always get 1. I'll show you what I mean. 4 fifths times 5 fourths. 4 times 5 is 20. 5 times 4 is 20 for the bottom. And 20 over 20 simplifies to one whole. Similarly, look over here. Negative 2 thirds times negative 3 over 2. If I multiply this fraction by its reciprocal, a negative times a negative is a positive. 2 times 3 is 6. And 3 times 2 is 6 for the bottom. And 6 over 6 simplifies to one whole. All right, and this works for any fraction. You take any fraction and multiply it by its reciprocal, you'll always get one whole. Now we can use this fact to undo the fraction in an equation. I'll show you what I mean. Let's take a look at this first one. 3 halves x minus 8 equals 4. All right, to solve this, I first have to undo the minus 8. So I'm going to add 8. What I do to one side of the equal sign, I have to do to the other side. When I do that, notice the 3 has x. I haven't touched it, so it drops down. These undo each other. Equals drops down. And 4 plus 8 is 12. And now's the point where I have to undo this 3 halves x. It has It's 3 halves times x. What I can do here is I can multiply this side of the, of the equation by the reciprocal of 3 over 2. And the reciprocal of 3 over 2 is 2 over 3. But what I do to one side equal sign, I have to do to the other. All right. So now, when I do that, 2 over 3 times 3 over 2, as we already we were kind of talking about before, is 6 over 6, which is one whole. So this all ends up being one whole x. Okay. You can almost think of it as these undo each other, these two fractions multiplied together and do each other to make just one whole x, which is what we want. All right. Now on the other side, drop down my equal side. I have 12, 12 times 2 thirds. I'll put a 1 under the 12 to make it a little easier on myself. 12 times 2 is 24 over 1 times 3 is 3. 24 thirds, which I know simplifies because 24 divided by 3, that simplifies to just 8. So x is 8. All right. So notice the new move here to undo that fraction, multiply by the reciprocal to undo it and make one whole x. We'll do another example. Here we go. 5 sevenths x plus 13 equals negative 2. All right. First step, got to undo that plus 13. So I'm going to subtract 13. But what I do to one side, the equal sign, I have to do to the other side. When I do that, these adding and subtracting 13s undo each other, but 5 sevenths times x drops down, equals drops down. Negative 2 minus 13 is negative 15. Now here's the new step. To undo 5 sevenths, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. So instead of 5 over 7, we're going to multiply by 7 over 5. But what I do to one side, the equal sign, I have to do to the other side. And what happens? 7 fifths times 5 sevenths makes one whole. So this undoes each other to make one whole x. The equals drops down. Now on the other side, negative 15 times 7 fifths, let's put this over 1. Negative 15 times 7 is negative 105 over 1 times 5 is 5. And this can be simplified. Because negative 105 divided by 5 is negative 21. And there's your answer.
okay? And of course, if you're not sure if you got the correct answer or not, you can always check it pretty easily on a calculator. I'll show you what I mean. We'll do this last one over here. 5 sevenths, so I'll put 5 sevenths in parentheses, times x, which I just found was negative 21, plus 13. And if we did this right, it should equal negative 2. And it does. All right? And that works with all algebra. You can always check algebra equations with a calculator. So that new move to undo a fraction, multiply both sides by the reciprocal to undo it, and then just solve like normal. So hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please hit that like button. Also subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.